Hi, I'm Dave Gardy for Cybersecurity TV from our studios here near Washington, D.C. for another in the series of compliance automation programs for Steel Cloud. Joining me here in the studio is Mr. Brian Hagos, who's the COO of Steel Cloud. Brian, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Dave. Now, we're going to talk today about STIG compliance to achieve ATO or authorization to operate. Um, let's get right to the point. What's the answer to faster ATO or authorization to operate? Well, with, with an ATO or with the whole RMF process, there are, there are things that can't be automated and things that can. So certainly if you can automate the things that can be automated, um, you, you'll speed up the process. More specifically, uh, automation to determine which controls are going to be implemented, and then automation that you can bring in a production environment to actually implement those controls in a production, in a production uh, infrastructure. So uh, if you can cut down the time by probably months in those two areas, you certainly will speed up the process to get an ATO. Can automation help you achieve CATO or continuous authority to operate? Yeah, one of the challenges with CATO or continuous authorization is the fact that um, without automation, everything is manual. So when things are manual, it can't be continuous. So what we allow organizations to do is put in a methodology, an automation methodology in which they can get compliant and stay compliant with um, the least amount of effort continually. What is the time difference between the manual scanning and remediating of STIGs versus automating the process? Well, in the ATO process, it happens in two places, one in the pre-ATO and the post-ATO or in the production environment. The pre-ATO process, if you have experienced personnel, they can harden, the, uh, say, the state controls run an app stack in as little as maybe a week and produce the artifacts for RMF. Uh, although we've, we've had multiple customers that have spent months and have gotten nowhere. Uh, with automation, you can do that same work in about an hour. It's taken us uh, 40 minutes on the low side. It's never taken us more than 70 minutes to harden and exercise all the state controls, run an app stack, uh, build the artifacts for RMF, and produce compliance as code. Excellent. How can Steel Cloud help the process? Well, as I mentioned, um, that we can, you know, our products used to automate the pre-ATO process, but really where we give the most benefit to our government customers is in sustainment. And what Steel Cloud provides is technology that allows the leadership of an organization to be sure that they're compliant continually. Excellent, Brian. Well, we appreciate the time you've taken to discuss State Compliance to Achieve ATO. We've been talking to Brian Hagos, who's the COO of Steel Cloud. Brian, thanks for joining us. Thank you. I'm Dave Gardy, for Cybersecurity TV from our studios here near Washington, D.C., and the Steel Cloud Automation Compliance Series. Thanks for watching.